Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take footage of ink or paint swirling around and use it to key and mat in your video clips for some cool results. So I've got a couple clips in the timeline, and one of them, uh, if you go to any stock footage website or look for stock footage, you can search for paint swirls or paint or ink and oil, and you'll find a lot of different stuff like this available, some for free, some for purchase. Um, this one, I just found it for free, and I also have a video clip that I have. So the cool part about this effect is it doesn't really matter about the colors. We're going to transform it and use the luminance values in it to create our final result. So first, let's drag our video clip onto the timeline. That'll create a new sequence in the size of this clip, or you could always go to File, New Sequence, and just create a sequence of the size that you want. And then I'm going to also drag in my ink swirling around. This is a 4K clip which created a 4K sequence so this footage here of the ink is not 4K it's only 1080p and you can see that by going in the info tab but all that necessary info aside I'm going to just simply scale this clip up until it fills in that 4K frame. You might not even have to do any of those steps. Now we have basically this clip on top of the other and what I want to do is extract the luminance values from this. Basically make it black and white and add some contrast. And I'm going to simply do that by going to the Lumetri Color panel. Firstly, just desaturating it with the saturation panel. And then adjusting the contrast, exposure amounts, and most importantly, in the curve section, adding a lot of curvature. So the curves works by having the darkness over here, the brightness over here, and I can influence it by adding points and dragging them. So if I pull the shadows down, it'll make the shadows darker, and if I pull the highlights up, it'll make the highlights brighter, thus creating more of a contrast. And if I really squeeze the two in, I can basically create a kind of black and white image. I just don't want to create too much clipping, like so. So in order to fill in the video, I'm going to go to the effects panel and search for one called track matte key in the keying video effects folder. And I'm going to add that on to my video clip footage of the guy on the pool table. So once I do that, it's going to ask me what layer do I want to use for the matte. And in this case, I'm going to choose the track that the ink is on. So I'm actually going to scoot everything up one because I, I want an empty layer underneath for later. But I'm going to choose Video Track 3 because that's what track the ink is on. And you'll see at first it doesn't do anything because we have it set to composite using matte alpha. And alpha just means the general shape of the image, the alpha channel, which is the same. It's filling up in the entire image. However, if we choose matte luma, it's going to take a look not at the alpha channel, but the luminance. So there is a difference there between the black and the white. And now you can see we've filled in the white parts with the video clip. And it looks like the black is there, but the black is actually transparent, which is the, the next cool part. If we go to File, New, Color Mat, or really just drag anything back underneath on Video Track 1, you'll see it show up underneath. So this is just me dragging the original video clip back under. Um, that's not really the effect I want, though. But if I just go to File, New, Color Mat, and let's say I'll choose a white color mat, press OK, and drag that underneath. Now you can see what's really going on is we're just filling in the luminance of the ink clip, this white part, with the video on layer 2 using the track mat key. Doing it this way gives us the flexibility of having that transparency underneath. So if I did want to do something cool, like add a color mat, white looks kind of like milky, cloudy. If I did like a dark red, it almost looks just like blood or something. Could be cool for music videos, lyric videos. If I did a gradient in the effects panel, like a four color gradient, that could be an effect of its own, like a more dreamy, rainbowy looking effect. And it's cool because the liquid ink is moving and animating this whole time. So doing it with those steps allows us this flexibility of the background. Of course, whenever you are working with black and white, 
if I was to flip the order of these things and just have the video on top, you can always just simply use blending modes such as multiply, that'll fill in the highlights or screen or lighten will fill in the shadows instead. However, doing it this way with blending modes only works for kind of the most simple black and white basic of effects and it doesn't give you the multi-layer flexibility that doing it with the track mat keys does. But another thing to keep in mind whenever you're working with black and white is using multiply screen will always fill in or erase the highlights and shadows. Additionally, as an advanced tip before we wrap up, whenever you are working with this kind of stuff, you can always keep in mind the animation possibilities. So this is just a flat effect here, but let's say I animated that Lumetri color and made the exposure get darker to brighter by clicking like a stopwatch icon there. Let's say I started out completely black and then increased the exposure up slowly. What we can do is kind of create fade ins or transition effects with this ink. So I could use the ability to adjust the luminance and blending to my advantage to kind of create fade ins or outs or transitions like that. So there's a ton of flexibility here because we're just combining these organic clips. They can look different every time depending on the original source clip that you used, whether it's oil or paint or some other kind of texture. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely check out some of the other ones in the playlist on my channel. Subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.